All right, so we got this house under contract today and the team wants to know if we want to buy it and do a renovation ourselves or if we want to wholesale it. So, you know, the I, outside looks great. The roof looks like it's new. The windows, we'll, we'll see inside, they look new. The siding looks new. Yeah, it's got a big, huge two-car garage with it's a carport. a huge two-car garage. The front porch might need a little bit of curb appeal, maybe put some little white railings on or something to kind of dress it up. Other than that though, we're under contract for a good price, and I think 68,000. Aesthetic so wise, it's not bad on the outside at all. It's, this is a little pressure wash, but yeah. that's not bad at all. No. All right, let's go check this thing out. All right. Oh, lots of paneling. It's warm in here. Well, the heat works. Let's get our bearings, so. Living room, foyer, dining room. So here's the question. There's a lot of linoleum here or flooring. So let me see if we can find some hardwood here. I got some, some loose flooring here. Pull up a corner. Yeah. Yeah, hardwood floors. That should probably carry all the way through, I imagine, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this, has, a, this has hardwood too. Oh yeah, hardwood floors right here. here too. And here's newspaper on the ground from 1962. Look at that. Newspaper from 50 some years old. That'd be about 50. That's about how old this floor is. 58 years <laughs> old, that paper is. Yeah, look at that. That's how long that was put down, 58 years ago. Look at what they did here. So to cover the edge of the paneling, they just added an extra piece of trim around oh. the nice trim. They didn't miter it very well. Kind of a cob job at its <laughs> finest, right? Before we start doing cosmetic, let's, let's do a quick look around. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we're, what we're actually looking at here, because I don't know. There's a nice decorative window in a closet. That's not the worst thing in the world, though. I mean, this, otherwise, this is kind of wasted space. You know, they're foyer you can't do a whole lot with. The kitchen is really big for a house like this. Wow, a lot of room back here. There is. No question, a lot of room. Okay. So immediately, you know, this wall gets chopped in half <laughs> to open it up to the dining room. Sure. I wonder what we have under here for floor. I bet you we don't have hardware underneath here. There's some, oh, they put down the subfloor. Oh, it's the subfloor on top, yeah. so. Yeah, and it, it is higher than so the So odds floor. are we're gonna put tile in here, Yeah. right? There probably is hardwood underneath it. You can see the height difference, which means, you know, you can see the subfloor, but the labor it would take to do that yeah. probably isn't worth it. Plus, when you pull it up, you're gonna have nail holes, you're gonna have tar, you're gonna you have all will. kinds of stuff. The downside to that is by the time you add hardy backer and tile to this, you know, you gain another yeah. half inches. <laughs> There's a measurement. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have an interesting okay. transition there. <laughs> okay. But there's a lot of room here to, to go. We'll just take these cabinets out, put all new cabinets in. This kitchen isn't real functional the way it is now, but you do a U-shape right here using all that wall space. And then you chop this wall in half and then you put just base cabinets over here and then you have a nice functional kitchen on both sides. This would be a big, this would feel big. It, this is a big kitchen for a house like this. Let me ask you, in the rooms that have the drop ceiling, sort of the, the squares, the tiles, yeah. do we just throw a sheetrock over that quarter inch? They're not even that bad though. You could no. paint those. Again, so these kind of decisions are based on the type of house it is and what right. you want to get for an ARV. In this neighborhood and school district and everything, I don't think we go overkill. Let's go see what upstairs, because I don't see any bedrooms down here. Let's go see upstairs what bedrooms have. Right. Oh good, so, more paneling. <laughs> so they have a little bit low, you know, yeah. I'm average height, right? 5'8". Yep. So probably somebody 5'10 can go down there easily. Hey, look at this. They Chop that bad boy I right off. Chop the new pulls right post, off. Yeah. So obviously hardwood floors up here too. What do we have? One, two, three, four bedrooms. Yeah, they're cracker jack boxes. They're small though. though, right? They're teeny tiny. It's not in horrible shape though. This room doesn't have a closet. Oh, small bathroom too. Okay. Just FYI, all the windows are new. Textured ceiling. Yeah, that's a. That's gotta go. Here's my initial thought. These rooms are all small. So my initial gut would be to take this wall out right here and make that one big room. So at least there's a good master would in Would you the leave house. the two doors? The wall out this way. I understand. Are you gonna leave a door here and a door there? Why would you do that? I'm, not, I'm asking a simple <laughs> no, question there, sweetheart. Door. I like how you give me the condescending dumbass look. <laughs> it's a simple question. If you're taking the wall out, there's two doors. So what do you wanna do? Well, you get rid of one door and just leave one door into the bathroom, she's, into the bedroom. so sweet. <laughs> and right. then that room doesn't have a closet anyway. So maybe you could like build a wall on this side of the window all the way across and make that like a nice big walk-in closet. And then from here over is a nice, much bigger bedroom. So they have access to the attic. Right. Looks like an attic. Let's go check out the attic. Okay. All right, careful, these are itty bitty steps. Oh, we have a cobbled chimney. So cobbled chimney is when a chimney goes up and they build it at an angle so they can go out the center of the roof. 
It looks like it's off. Although they've added supports over the years. So let's look in the basement, but this used to be knob and tube. Whenever you see these ceramic pieces, oh, that's yeah. part of the old electrical system. That was knob and tube wiring, which is old, old wiring that you, that you really have to replace. So I don't see any wires on it though. So mm. let's look in the basement and see what it looks like. A little bit of water damage, but that's probably an easy fix. Yeah, I mean, I, this house I would guess is probably 60, 70, 80 years oh, old. Oh yeah. Maybe long, it's, it's up there, so. All in all. Even the windows up here are new. Yeah, the windows are new up here. So a lot of, a lot of space for somebody, for storage. Hey, the backyard's cute too. There's a cute little deck. It's fenced in. You know, this house has a lot of really good qualities other than the paneling everywhere and the itty bitty bedrooms. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs and talk more about it. All right, let's go see the basement before we talk more yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. This is nice. I don't know how that would work when the fan was coming. Yeah, not the best place for it, a ceiling fan. It measured that out just perfectly. I have to get a different light there for sure. Um, you know, we could keep some of the paneling. In many houses, we've just done some like accent walls. Like in this area in the stairwell, we could paint it, you know, like a light color. It's kind um, of textured. Yeah. So if you painted it, that would. But that's okay. Yeah. It's okay for the texture to show through. Yeah. Honestly, it's not the worst paneling in the world I've ever seen. I could keep it in some spots, but get rid of it in some spots so it's more of a, like an accent okay. instead of a focal point. Okay. All right, let's go downstairs and check that out. Okay. Obviously, got a door going outside there. Okay. That's a steel. That's one door we don't have to replace. I love these old houses. They just like put storage I know. I know. everywhere. <laughs> like everywhere they could possibly What's think of. What's in there? Sometimes you don't know what you're gonna find in those little nooks and crannies. 200 amp service. 200 amp service. Yep. So the electrical panel we talked about upstairs was we had to see if there was knob and tube. I don't see any. This is called BX cable. If it's metal, it's BX cable. So the the panel is 200 amp service. So I, it looks to me like it's all new electrical panel, yeah. electrical wires in here these old suckers are built strong. As I look around, I'm looking to see if it's square. Are the walls square? We have an oil tank down here. I got the vents. We have a forced air oil furnace. That doesn't look that old to me. I don't recognize the brand, but that doesn't necessarily matter. And something like this, if it ain't broke, we don't fix it, right? That's not something we're gonna spend money on. So let's think about that for a minute. Is there natural gas coming in the house? Do you see pipes at all? I don't see any pipes down here coming in for natural gas. You can get natural gas brought in from the street for free, but it's winter time in upstate New York. So it would be challenging to get, to get a gas line in here, but you could get, if, you're, if you're gonna place this, you'd, you'd upgrade to gas. I'm yeah. sure there's gas in the street. I know, I know we've done houses in the street, so I know there's gas there. So here's the hot water heater. Obviously it's an electric hot water heater. I don't think that's the proper connection with wire nuts and all this by water. I don't think that's the right way to do that. So if it's not broke, we, we won't necessarily go to fix it. So, well, we will fix the way it's installed. Of course. Oh, look at this. Here's a problem over here. So I don't know what the problem is, but I don't know if I like duct tape around the sewer pipe. Oh, duct tape fixes everything. Yeah, I don't really know what the, the idea was there. It's okay. totally corroding. So they're, they're trying to keep the rust from corroding through. So the question is, has that rust done enough damage to have to replace this pipe? What looks like could be a major problem might just be a few hundred dollars to replace that. If that, they'll cut that piece out, put a new fitting in, and away we go. So. Does that hole go to the outside? It sure does. That's yeah. probably not the best setup. I don't know what the electrical wires are. Maybe power to the garage. That could be. That could be. A little sewer drain. There's a clean out right there. Very dry though down here. Very dry. Not horrible though. Not, not a deal killer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Paint these walls, clean it up down here. I think yeah. we're ready to go. Alright, let's go back upstairs and kind of look in and make some decisions. You know what might be cool too? What? So those basement stairs are really narrow and a little treacherous. And the laundry's down there. Okay. You know, I can't imagine like holding a big laundry basket, heavy laundry basket full of dirty clothes and walking down those stairs all the okay. time. So it'd be great to find a spot up here to put it. And that closet by the front door is a good sized closet. There's not enough width to do a side by side, but all the new washers and dryers, the front loading ones, you can do sackable. So that could like double as a laundry room and as a coat closet. And what about that large bathroom area that you talked about there? There's not enough room. You know, all those little things that make a house more appealing to a buyer, they don't cost a lot of money. But you know, like if I was doing laundry, I wouldn't want to go down those stairs with that big laundry basket. So we try to look at houses through the buyer's eyes. So when a buyer comes in here, think of those little things that might be like deal killers. And to me, that might be a, a real turnoff. So I just asked our team what the ARV is. The ARV is after repair value. So that we can see what the house will sell for. So we're under contract to buy this for 68,000. The big question is, could we sell it to another investor for maybe 78,000, make 10,000 on the wholesale, let them go make money, or, do we do it ourselves? 
So if we're buying it for 68,000, they pulled up 168,000 was the, on the low side of comps, but a four bedroom, two bath with a garage that sold recently was upwards of 175. So I have an issue with that though. This is not two bath, this is one and a half bath right. and both bathrooms are very, very small. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know the other comps. I don't know what it looks like. So yeah. before you yell at me, make sure you just know. I don't, it's just and, the original number. And this would be a three by the time I was done with it. So we'd lose the bedroom. Yeah. So we're gonna lose a little value there. But we're gonna, we would lose value anyway because those bedrooms are so small. That in and of itself is gonna be a okay. turn off to people. Remember the house we did in Scotia? We had a huge issue selling it because the bedrooms were so small. So let's say this. So let's say that we had the sales house. Let's say it's 165. Let's go below what they're thinking, right? Because they're saying 175 for a four two. Let's say it's 165. Let's say 10 grand off for losing a bedroom. We have a ton of square footage here though. I don't know what the square and we, footage is. And we have huge. a big garage, which is huge garage. A, a nice feature for, because a lot of these houses only have one car garages. Yeah. This has two car plus a carport. So, all right. And plus it's a double wide lot. Yeah. Double wide, not double wide. It's a, it's a double, it's a double lot, right? Yeah. So 68,000. So as I look around here, I'll have to go back and do the home flipping evaluator. But I think what we're going to find is that total renovation costs are probably less than $40,000. Right, we've done enough of these to know that. Yeah, I would agree with it's that. It's mostly cosmetic, it's a new kitchen, it's upgraded bathrooms, it's redoing the hardwood floors. You have to do a lot of touch up on the walls and paint. Minor construction. But there's really no majors. No. The roof is done, the windows are done, the furnace is 20 years old, but it seems to be in working order. Hot water heater seems to be okay. They're gonna have their repair downstairs. That's a small, that's a $500 repair. Even if you move the laundry upstairs, like you just suggested, that's a couple hundred dollars. I mean, let's call it five hundred dollars to move the laundry upstairs. Yeah. Um, there's really no majors here. Yeah. Um, that we can see. So all in all, I bet you worth. Let's, let's say we're in, let's say we're thirty five thousand in. So if we're buying it for sixty eight, let's say we're into it for seventy. Uh, that you know with buying costs and whatnot. So let's say we're into it for seventy thousand for our buy. Thirty five. We're into it for one hundred and five thousand, and it would sell for let's say one sixty five. That's a sixty thousand dollar potential spread of profit. Now we're going to have selling costs and holding costs, so you're looking at probably a fifty fifty to fifty five thousand dollar potential profit. I think it's a no brainer. I do too. Right? Yeah. I mean, this is right in our backyard. It's right where we do. So I think at the end of the day, easy to manage. Yeah, we could start this thing day one. That's the secret. Start this thing day one. Get the renovation going. Bag it out. By the time the snow melts, um, seventeen months from now, <laughs> it should it should look nice. So. We can get this thing sold though, I think, and uh, make good buck. And I noticed the house next door is vacant. Did you see that? There's a there's a bank going on it. Oh, really? And one of our students is doing a house right down the road that we just did a, a, our walkthrough on. Uh, on our bus tour. Yeah, yeah. Not, too, not too long ago, a week or two ago, yeah. we did a bus, we did a, uh, a, a walkthrough. Yeah. Yes, that's one of our previous home flipping adventures. Absolutely. So, all right, another renovation? All right. Let's do it.